everybody, welcome back to the third part of the Game Fear Podcast. Hopefully you watched part one and two and got to hear us talk about uh, the NSA and uh, Persona 5 and all kinds of weird JRPG stuff and everything that goes with that. Uh, if you caught the end, then you probably know already know what we're going to talk about, but uh, I'll tell you anyway. Uh, the For the third part of uh, this podcast, we're going to be discussing the recent controversy with YouTube which is where you're probably watching this, so Yay. hopefully they don't shut this video down. Um, <laughs> and uh, and their content ID system. Um, and if, if you're not in the know, uh, basically what's been going on um, is that YouTube's content ID system uh, is basically a system that um, scans every time you upload a video uh, for audio that's copyrighted or video that's copyrighted. Um, and uh, basically, if it finds anything, it hits you with a copyright warning, and the owner of said content can then um, take... Repossess your family. <laughs> basically, yeah. Yeah, they, 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 they basically get the ad money um, from the video instead of you getting it. Um, so you may be asking yourself, why is that a big deal? Well, uh, there are a whole lot of people actually... The number one subscribed channel on YouTube is a Let's Player, and there are tons of is them. It, is it PewDiePie? Yeah, PewDiePie. PewDiePie. PewDiePie is the number one channel on YouTube. I don't and get he, it. He pretty, I don't know. I I, <laughs> I I don't hate the guy or anything. Like Some of his stuff is kind of funny, like when he does horror games. Yeah. Uh, I think it's funny to watch him pee himself, but it's whatever. I don't know how he got to the number one spot, but uh, it happens, I guess. Well, but, he doesn't like Justin Bieber, so that's a plus. Yeah, right. well, you know, that's always a plus. Um, but, so, there are a ton of Let's Players. I mean, it's a huge part of the gaming community on YouTube is Let's Players. And the way that they make money is, you know, by playing the games and adding commentary and talking about it. Well, all these ga- all these videos are getting hit with uh, content, content ID. And so, basically, they're not able to monetize any of their videos. Um, and you know, it, it wouldn't be such a big deal if the system worked correctly, but from what is coming out in the media, there are a lot of false IDs going on. Um, there are a lot of third parties that are claiming content that they shouldn't be. It's, it's basically just a big mess. And to make matters worse, YouTube has kind of said, well, this is how it's going to be and you're just going to have to live with it. Um, so there's, you know, needless to say, a big uproar in the gaming community. Um, I don't know. It, it's crazy. I mean, I can kind of see both sides of it. I mean, on the one hand, you know, with companies like Nintendo, Activision, stuff like that, they're some of the biggest ones that are claiming um, copyright on videos. And, you know, they have that right. But on the other hand, there's a lot of gaming companies out there that rely on Let's Plays for advertisement. And they don't want, they want the Let's Players to make money because they want them to continue to do Let's Plays on their games and get more people seeing their footage and, and yada, yada, yada. Like I said, Nintendo and Activision companies like that are already putting millions of dollars into advertising. So that's kind of their stance is... They really don't need the advertising from the Let's Plays, which is understandable. But I think, you know, the big issue is a lot of these third-party people that are claiming uh, IDs are... I mean, it's just ludicrous. I mean, it's like... People that, like, made a snip of music that's used in a game that was licensed for the game, so any gameplay of that shouldn't go back to the original copyright holder. It should be... Um, in control of whoever made the game, but it's not because YouTube content ID system doesn't discriminate. It's just a big mess. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Where would people go exactly? If, if that's, the, if this, this doesn't change, where I, exactly would people go? Well, that's that's the bad thing is there's not really a whole lot of alternative right now. Um, there's no big alternative at no, all. I mean, really. I, there's like, I don't know, Daily Motion. Um, it, mm. I don't know. 
that's the problem right yeah. there and there's no competition and so youtube's not going to change their policy because they they don't have to well they're google i mean you know google well google bought yeah. Yeah. No, google he, bought out youtube uh, i think it was mm-hmm. 2006 um so you know that's that's when things started to change and it's just yeah, kinda, kinda, know, it's kind of coming it. to a head now I had to make a Google Plus. Ooh. Yeah, that, all that, the time. That was a whole nother issue with the Google Plus and having to link your Google Plus to your YouTube and all that stuff. That's just weird. And <laughs> it, was, it was basically a way to force people to sign up for Google Plus because nobody was using it. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. I know I have to have it for YouTube. Ta-da. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's. I think someone will come in and fill the void, though. You know, if YouTube, uh, if Google can't, you know, straighten that out, yeah, I think someone would come in and fill that void. You hear Not that, sure Bill Gates? <laughs> I don't you know. Hear that? But, uh... <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. I mean, it's, you know, it's it's been a problem before, um, and you know, now it's just kind of because they've upped the amount of, of copyright hits. I mean, it's just, it's become ridiculous. Um, yeah, I think it. I think it's kind of a tricky subject because, like, I think for reviews, like, I think it's unquestionable that for a review session you have to have access to the game. So exactly. anyone who's reviewing it is is using it under fair use. Exactly. I think it's it's a mixed bag where they're kind of throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I think they're trying to eliminate people who are making ad revenue off, like like we were talking about earlier, or whatever. Like you put a song up from your favorite album. Um, and like if you if it gets a million hits if you put up Timberlake's new single or something I'm just yeah. using weird examples and like you're the person who put that and it gets three million hits because people are trying to look at that and you're getting ad revenue off that like they're probably trying to prevent something like that but they haven't like they're I don't know if they have a, a good like equal way of you know assessing claims and being like okay these guys are fine these guys aren't you know yeah well, and, and that's really the issue. I mean, there's so much content going up on a daily basis that, uh, you know, having it actually be, you know, sorted out by manpower is is impossible. Um, so you have to have an algorithm that goes through and it's checking. It's just a mess. I mean, the system is broken. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you would fix that. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's causing a lot of headache. And I know, I know like the... Um, the developer of the was it Saints Rose? Saints Rose. Oh, Volition or or is it someone else? I'm trying to remember. I was just reading an article about Term- it. It's not Terminal Reality. It's Volition, isn't it? I'm not 100% sure. We're all gonna sound like idiots now. But anyway, <laughs> maybe maybe I'm right. There's there's cool. <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot of game companies out there that are saying, hey, we don't care if people use Let's Plays and yeah. make money off of it because it's giving us you know advertisement for free basically. Um, you know, definitely indie game companies. You know, YouTube and Let's Plays are a huge part of um, how they get the word out about their games. Um, but if it's not profitable for the let's players then they're going to be less likely you know to do let's well, plays i will posit that probably the indie people aren't leveraging copyright disputes so mm-hmm. they might actually fly see i kind of i kind of hope for this scorched earth tactic which might be a little pessimistic but it's kind of yeah. like with marvel and disney and like doing conventions you know yeah. like i sell prints and art at conventions and one of the things sometimes people come and ask me is like you're selling that spider-man print do you have to pay marvel and like I kind of explain, I'm like, right now it's an unwritten rule that nobody pays Marvel. Like even the president who, who has done Artist Alley historically yeah. has kind of come out and said like, no, because we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot. This is pre-Disney. Yeah. But if a, if a scorched earth tactic kind of occurred and Marvel, Disney, you know, Sash Warner Brothers DC said no more fan art at any conventions, I would be ecstatic because I have this comic Dragon Slayer, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's an excuse <laughs> to be like, like, guys, I'm never going to screw people over like that. Please check out my stuff, you know? Yeah. So indie game developers, it could, I mean... It's it's by and large bad, especially for people making their uh, living off of it. It's gonna it's gonna hurt the industry in the end. But mm-hmm. if, so, so I'm not arguing that it should uh, it should go through. But it would be interesting if people were you know like, well, I'm not reviewing Batman Arkham Origins this month, but I will be reviewing Stanley Parable or you yeah. know something like that. Another issue that we've seen is there have even been. A couple different developers that have put up gameplay of their own games. <laughs> yeah. That's getting content ID hits. Um, so I mean, 
the system is broken. I mean, you, if, if, if you built a game, put it up, and then, you know, it's, it's getting content ID hits when obviously you own the material. I mean, there's something going on there. It's, it's, um, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to fix the system. I don't know how they're going to make the community happy. If they even care to make the community happy. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised they didn't, uh, on Kotaku, I saw their apology, and I was surprised that it wasn't an apology. It's no, just, no, it's definitely not. It was just a, this is how it is now. Like, and that blew me away, because, like, I mean, I I don't think every major company should, you know, bow down to their user base, but you gotta, like, it is a community. Like, it's a it's a living, breathing thing, and to, yeah. shoot, to shoot at, like, the kings of that, you know? Yeah. I mean, you gotta think of it. The people that watch YouTube and that watch the videos like that, without, you know, them, they're not making any money. So, say, say someone does make a uh, different YouTube, and we all go to that, they're screwed. I we mean, can call it MeTube. Yeah. Hold on. Let me let me register this URL. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you know, the bad part about that is anybody who who's gonna try to step into the game and take some of that, uh, you know, some of those users and and give them a, a new home. Uh, the problem they're gonna run into is the amount of you know server space and the amount of bandwidth they're gonna need to mm -hmm. to run a, a video hosting site and actually you know run any decent amount of hits um, and a huge backlog of uh, videos like it wouldn't be like when YouTube started up it'd be current YouTube so the guy with 60 yeah. hour long videos is gonna slam you yeah as he, well he's else. gonna he's gonna upload all of them back to back. Yeah, and, and let it run for two days straight, uploading. You know, like uh, I, said before, I mean, you're talking build. about a Titanic undertaking to to try to do that. I, I don't know how you. I don't know. The whole thing's just a mess. I don't know how they're gonna fix it. It's it's kind of uh, the death of an era almost. Um, well, we'll see. I mean, I guess it's it's like right now we're just speculating. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out because I don't think I don't think jumping ship because some people mentioned Twitch and stuff. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know if people will jump ship because it will fragment, like, YouTube's kind of a one-stop stop, one -stop shop kind of. Yeah. So, like, everyone jumping ship, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't use the service. Like, I don't think it'd be YouTube and X or YouTube and Y. Yeah. I think either YouTube totally goes down or, you know. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a crazy ordeal and, you know, a lot of uproar, um, I mean, everybody's talking about it right now. I, I just watched an interview earlier where uh, the illustrious Kevin Smith was speaking out on it. Um, of course, in favor of the, of, of the community and <laughs> not you two. Um, yeah. Because it's Kevin Smith and, you know, that's what he does. Um, I mean, everybody's kind of, you know, hacked about it. I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's not a good situation, but... At the same time, from a legal standpoint, I mean, the copyright holders do have a right to decide if they want people to be able to monetize their content. I mean, yes, but there is there is fair use, and as far as reviews go, I don't think there's any question there. I think anything that is in a review format should be under uh, the fair use policy. But then again, how do you go through and separate you know um what if they let the community do it like uh you know like had a had a way of letting the community vote on videos like do you think this is fair use do you think this isn't then have a final review i don't know <laughs> it's just an idea i guess i don't know i don't know i mean it it, it really is a mess and, and what worries me is it doesn't seem like youtube is asking for any feedback it doesn't seem like they yeah. are really concerned about what the community thinks they're like you said they're just kind of like here it is and you know that's how it's going to be um well are, are you going to stop watching youtube no one's going to stop watching youtube because of it i mean it's youtube <laughs> i don't know oh God, i mean if i was you know if i was one of those people that only use youtube to watch let's plays and reviews which is quite a bit of people i may mm. um so are we looking at YouTube devolve back into just where everyone posts their cat videos? Pretty possibly. Much. <laughs> yeah. you, think, you think that's a devolution? I think that's an evolution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <New Mark> and I. <laughs> we'll just call it cat tube. But yeah. you know, I, I think uh, I think uh, Devin did bring up a good point. 
but uh, yeah, compromise. But at the same time, if uh, if YouTube isn't accepting any feedback from uh, from the community, it makes uh, compromise all but impossible. I don't know. It, I think it's gonna it's gonna require some creative thinking, um, just because YouTube has become this you know giant beast. Um, you know, it's 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 so big that how do you regulate it? I mean, that's See, that's kind of the issue. See, what, what makes me grumpy about it is, and it's it's gonna sound. There's a better way to articulate this, so I'm gonna use like a shorthand. But it's kind of a one percent kind of deal. Like these are companies with loads of money, like more money than they can, you know, that they know what to do with. Like killing guys who are probably barely eking by a fifteen to twenty grand off of ad revenue, like yeah. you know, who are using their money to buy the games, to record them and talk about them, and like foster a community, like you know. I mean, and again, it might not all be like like you're saying with Saints Row Four. And I heard some guy did a video for Tomb Raider, and Crystal Dynamics or whoever's working on Tomb Raider now is like like gave him full permission. Like he did yeah. a video with those guys. And it still got slammed, and they're like, "We didn't do that." So, like, you yeah. know, yeah. And there's been there's been more support from, uh, like I said, the you know a lot of these development companies. Um, I think there's been more support from them than YouTube itself. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, they're sitting there saying, "Hey, we want you. We don't want this to happen. You know, this is not what we want." And they're trying to handle it as best as as best they can. Um, I mean, it's just. It's just a mess. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna fix it. It it sucks. I think you're gonna see. Well, I've already already seen a lot of uh, LPRs leave um, or say they're gonna leave. Like I said, I don't know where they're gonna go. Yeah. Um, see, you. I I don't think they can like because if it's about ad revenue, if ad revenue is the game, you need a large user user base yeah. and like. I might be speaking for myself, but I've heard of Twitch. I've never actively watched anything on it. Even you know, Daily Motion, well, the, you know? The thing about Twitch is, you know, it's mostly just the live broadcast. I mean, people don't generally, as a rule, go on there and watch the videos that have been recorded. I mean, I believe you can, but yeah, it's, you not, can. it's not something that people, I think, do on a regular basis. Yeah. Um, sure. So, I mean, yeah, that, that ability is still there. Um... I, up until recently, I would say uh, Blip TV is an alternative. <laughs> but uh, as as anybody who follows us on uh, Facebook or Twitter knows, uh, Blip TV has uh, recently ceased becoming an option for most people. What they do? What's uh, the story there? Well, so I guess uh, they had some policy changes a couple months ago or so, um, and basically, Blip TV was kind of a YouTube competitor, um, but it's mostly it's mostly centered around web series shows so you've got a lot you've got a lot of comedy stuff you've got a lot of I mean there's a lot of review stuff and all kinds of different stuff but um, they basically changed their terms of use recently to where your content ha it has to be episodic it has to be regularly scheduled it has huh. to follow a certain format and they basically went in and we had a Blip TV account. They went in and cleared out everybody who in any way violated their new terms of use. They said your account has been deactivated. Um, and basically to get on the site or to get back on the site after your account being deactivated, you have to go through a review process. So basically you have to give a synopsis of your channel and uh, what your shows are going to be about. And it has to have a certain said scheduled um, and it, it's a whole thing you can't I think one of the one of the main reasons I think we got booted was um, your show can't primarily be used to promote the website um, and we put our URL on all of our videos so, um, but yeah so they're not going to take LPRs um, they may take review shows but I don't know um I don't know. They, they they literally eliminated probably eighty percent of their user base uh, wow. and said that you know you can't you can't have a channel anymore unless you you know go through these steps and, and stuff. So, um, but that's a uh, blip is the service that uh, like the channel also people like, like that guy with the glasses and all those people. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, 
Which which guy with the glasses? I can use that all guy. that too. That guy with the glasses. I know like three people with glasses. It's true. <laughs> this is true. Doug. Yeah. <laughs> Doug Walker. For anybody who doesn't know, Doug Walker, that guy with the glasses, not He's down to critic. He's the nostalgia oh. critic, and he does. Oh, okay. He does. He he has some pretty cool shows. And stuff, but they, him and his entire community, primarily use book TV for a lot of the years. Um, but yeah, like I said, Blit TV is not going to be a solution for most people. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It's it's a crazy thing. Um, you know, I don't know what the LPers are going to do. Uh, Austin, what were you saying earlier about? Um, oh. Uh, Penguin Zero. Yeah, he's a he's a less player. He just does like mostly indie games. I I really haven't seen him do a um, big name game, honestly. But he uh, he has said that he donates you know all or you know most of his money to charities. And you know you know a lot of the less players make their livings. I mean PewDiePie, and that's how he makes all his money. PewDiePie. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Stop. Sorry. Sorry. He's saying, you know, that's taken away from the money that he's giving to charity. I mean, that's not straight up just taking away from him. That's taking away from the money that he's giving to a charity. You know, so it's not it's not just affecting the less players alone. It's affecting other people. Here's here's a serious question I have though. Okay. If us as a human species can come together to riot and form petitions and all kinds of crap for a dog, a fake dog dying on the TV show. Snoopy? Did, did you really have a specific dog or are you just making... No, yeah. No, Brian, Brian, yeah, Brian. 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 There Brian. we go. There we go. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Everybody flip shit about Brian's a fake dog dying. And then like YouTube, they're just like, eh, it's bad. Let's yeah, it's bad. Well, well, I think I think I think you're kind of speaking to the state of today's society, where you know they're more concerned with what's going on with their entertainment than what's going on with everything else. Is it? Well, yeah, I guess so. But I mean, you know, we're talking about something that's messing with people's income as opposed to a cartoon dog on a TV show. I'm, I'm sure there's uh, uh, petitions out there against YouTube. I'm sure there's probably more outcry. Yeah, I think I think. I mean, I'm sure everybody's watched it. D for Vendetta. It needs to happen. What's that? For, for yeah. Is that like a book? What is that? <laughs> I never, I never heard of it. Novel. Yeah. Never heard of it. By D M Larson. <laughs> oh God! Don't bring <laughs> that up again. <laughs> <sighs> a little bit of an in joke, sorry. It's... But yeah, but, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. It's it's. I, I'm anxious to see the resolution of. Uh, the issue and see what's going to happen but i don't know i don't know what's going to happen um it's it's crazy YouTube's stuff president will be fired yeah um, they're gonna google, shut youtube down google will get liquidated all the good that google's <laughs> done will just mass gone the cars yeah, drive those themselves nice gone. Yeah. all of google will just collapse from the ground up <laughs> on Google is no more. We go back to Alta Vista. <laughs> Bing. Bing's where it's at now. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 As I said before, we need to contact Bill Gates right away. He has the money and he has the power. We need Bill Gates to make it on YouTube. I'm going back to GeoCities. GeoCities, yeah. yeah. Do you know all the, what was it, all the GeoCities uh, sites made up like a terabyte and you can download them somewhere? No way. Isn't that like a friendly thought? <laughs> <laughs> I want to download all of those. And look all at of the, Geo Cities. Just, just go back through all the, the nostalgia of, of the horrible gifts and. I, I couldn't figure it out. I was an Angel Fire guy. <laughs> oh, people. It, the sad part is we probably have listeners that have no idea what we're talking about. Right now. I, I, am, I don't even know. I kids, just, uh, kids, let me tell you about being 21 or older. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I, I was surprised Austin knew about board games. Yeah, that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, oh, how old are you, Austin? Hey, what? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> He's playing Pokemon. <laughs> How, how old are I'm you? Nine, I'm 19. 19? Oh, really? really? Legal. I thought you were 20-ish. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's 19. He's a Let young. me tell you about voting in the last election. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm moment. shouting. I was shouting profanities as a child at, at a child three years ago. <laughs> Yeah, Austin's a young one, so half the time he doesn't know what Justin and I are talking about. It's over half the time. Okay. I just like <laughs> nod my head, and you guys can't see it, but I'm just, I kind of want to just fucking walk away. Yeah, he really, but yeah, we were having a discussion earlier about War Games, the movie with Matthew Broderick. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. Oh, Austin, oh. Austin actually didn't know what that was. Oh, you, you, my parents, I, I know all the 80s and 90s movies. Yeah, he watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Weird yeah, Science. Who has one it? Of my, one of my favorite movies ever, Weird great Science. Great movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. If, if just, you, yeah, if we want to get started on John Hughes, like, I, I just finished yeah. Home Alone, so I got thoughts. I think that's a whole <laughs> nother podcast. Yeah. Oh. We could probably talk about 80s movies for hours. Maybe we should just start another podcast. 80s movies, 80s movies for hours. 80s movies for hours. On on MeTube.com, which is actually <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it go, looks open. Go grab that domain. So uh, it it doesn't go anywhere. Like when you fire it up, it's just an empty page. <laughs> <laughs> like, too. like it doesn't even tell you it's not connecting. It just connects you to a white page. Mm, so. That's scary. How Me much? Too, it? It's it's How the NSA. MeTube.com. I'm gonna find the price of this before this is out. <laughs> It's dot .com. It's dot .com. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I don't think it's going to kill YouTube, but I don't know. A lot of people are upset about it. And, I, mean, I don't know. We'll just have to watch and wait and see yeah. what happens. And, That's all you can do. And, you know, maybe. I think, yeah, d- desire is the heart of pain, so if they just quit caring about it. I mean, that's some Buddhism for you, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, I mean... I, when I worked in IT, I just wanted to send everyone an email that says, Desire is the heart of pain. <laughs> like, just quit worrying about it. <laughs> like, it's solved. <laughs> if only. If only. Your computer well, will become dust and a deer will drink water out of it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if only we could all think of it that way, but... Yeah. Alas... Alas, there is there is not that much peace in our hearts. In the meantime, <laughs> I think that that about wraps it up, everybody. Um, you know, once again, I want to thank uh, Devin for joining us today. Yeah, thanks um, for showing up. Thanks once for again, you. Yeah, go go check out Devin's stuff. I'll post all the links and stuff, and um, go check out his artwork. He does some pretty cool stuff. Also he's working on the picture I've been drawing right now. Yes, <laughs> and he's yeah. working on Dragon Slayer Three at yes. the moment. So watch, yes. for, watch for that coming up on Kickstarter. When do you think that's going to happen? March 2014 is what I'm aiming for. I'm on page... My goal is off page 15 done by the end of this week. I'm having people color it too, so I'm trying to outrun my colorists. Uh, the goal is <laughs> the goal's March... Well, they've got two books, so i got a bit of a head start. But yeah. the, the goal is March 2014. I'm going to guess it's going to be later. Yeah. And partially due to me as well, because I'm, I'm still writing it. Yeah, well, well I mean, you're not working on anything else or anything. I mean, it's not like no. you're, it's not like you're pumping out like I don't know several pieces a week or anything. I mean, Spider Man. Well, yeah. yeah, is that sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to well, tell around if, here. If you if, if you follow Devin on any social media, you'll know that he is constantly putting out new pieces, and so um, I don't think any of us can really blame him for. Uh, you know. Someone accused me today. Well, not accused me. Is a guy. He he like posted. He's like, oh man, for that Joker picture I just put up. He's like, oh man, I haven't seen any illustrations from you for a while, and like. I was gonna leave it, and I was like, "What? I post two illustrations a week." Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And they're they're always good. Right? Some really wait. I need to. I'm gonna find that. <laughs> I'm going to We're find that. Find that person. We're going to defend your honor, Devin. <laughs> oh no, he's no. Be nice. He's cool. He's a fan. It's just I was surprised that like I, like I was just and he's a, he's a pretty active fan. I was just I don't know. I I told him his like uh, his notifications must be off or something. It has to be because because. Devin's always putting up stuff. Go check out his stuff. He just did an awesome uh, Joker piece like he was talking about. Um, he also just put up an awesome uh, Marvel vs. Capcom piece. He did. For all and, you gamers out there. And so. people like, it's so funny, I spent like a week plus, a week of like eight hour days working on the Marvel vs. Capcom piece. And then I like, I knocked that Joker picture out in like 90 minutes or something. Have you like, seen that? So, it's great. Yeah. It's great. Is cray and people are like, "Oh, the Joker wants to be all end all," and I'm like, "Oh, well, we're <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that always the way it goes, though? I mean, yeah. 
Oh yeah, no, it's like printed comics. It's like it's like I just spent three months on that comic. Everyone's gonna buy the print I took like a day on. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. I guess that's all for us today, guys. Uh, join us uh, for the next episode. Make sure you listen to the other uh, sections of the podcast if you haven't yet. Um, we talk about NSA spying and, and other stuff. Um, make sure you find us on Facebook and uh, go check out the website, GoFear.com, as always. Um, anything else? Any closing? Anything else? Have a Merry Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah Hope you get Christmas. lots of games. And- Christmas just around the corner, so, yeah. Everybody be happy, be safe, play lots of games, and uh, drink lots of eggnog, and uh, we will see you guys in the next time around. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye. Yeah.